Hi guys, it's Nina from VR Focus and I'm joined by... William McCormick, I'm Marketing Manager at USense. So uh, there is some really interesting stuff happening here because it all has to do with hand tracking, right? Gestures mm. and a lot of augmented reality. And you guys are delving into not only mobile phones, but also into cars. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about who you are and what you guys are doing. Yeah, so you said that we respond at you know, virtual reality. So uh, what we do is we use computer vision, AI, deep learning to remodel your hands so you can use them in virtual reality, old man reality, mixed reality to uh, use them as controllers. So you don't need to use uh, you know hardware controllers. You can use your own hands, gesture recognition, full depth. And uh, yeah, it just makes it much more intuitive, interactive, uh, much easier to use, and much more natural to actually interact. So that's what virtual reality money is about. You're meant to replicate what we do in the real world and put it into the, into the virtual world and make it just the same. So that's what we do. So you guys started off doing virtual reality, right? Yeah. So what was that exactly? Uh, yeah, so I mean, we provided the interaction tools. So uh, we're, we're a B2B company, as in we provide the developer tools. Uh, our, we have a hardware. You know, it's um, it's uh, it's ninety nine dollars. It comes with an SDK, plugs into Unity, Unreal, all the major ones, C plus plus, and uh, yeah, you can either attach it to a device, or our un uh, our ultimate plan is to you know integrate into headsets so they can use our software, license our software to go into their technology. We're our magic's in our algorithm. It's not we're not a hardware company. We just use it as an SDK really. So uh, this is an example of uh, what you guys have, yeah. what you guys are bringing to different headsets, right? Yes. So this is a Pico VR. So this is a this is a Pico Goblin. So we just announced a partnership with them. So what we're doing is uh, we have a custom integration. We still clip it on the front, but we're actually going after the education uh, kind of manufacturing market in China. So we're partnering with them with the custom content creator, and uh, yeah, we're just going out to market the Chinese. Government's putting a bunch of money into uh, AR, VR research into students to try and get more developers, and uh, we're going after that market together with Pico. You guys are also working together in the automotive industry, right? Yeah. So uh, the Biden Smart Car that was launched, uh, they have a control panel and infotainment system that's uh, 50 centimeters wide, goes from one end to the other. To the other. So they're all about you know autonomous driving, how do you keep entertained when you're in a, a car. So they want to be able to, it's all about user experience, making it as entertaining as possible. So they're using our hand tracking gesture control to basically navigate the panel. You know, you can switch in and out apps, gesture control for whatever they want to do. Um, we have unlimited gestures since we're 26 degrees of freedom, which means it can track your real hand. Whatever gesture you want to do, you can program it to do whatever you want to want. So they just launched here, they got a really good reception. And uh, yep, we're, we're in their demo car and just a really cool new way to interact. So we see ourselves as a HCI solution now. You know, you use a mouse for a PC, touch screen, voice control, we're getting in that mix. So you can use it for all sorts of smart devices, IoT, cars, whatever, robotics, whatever cool thing people are thinking of. Anything you think of that needs gestures, yeah. basically. C cool technology, needs some cool interaction method, that's it. Cool, and uh, we've got some phones here as well, and uh, one of the biggest problems uh, with, I guess, AR core is that it can't, it's not available for every single phone, but you guys have found a, a solution. Yeah, so uh, this started from our uh, partnership with Spectrum. So Spectrum's a, uh, it's a SOC, so they write a reference design and they sell it to, to Android manufacturers. So they expect to sell about 150 million phones, but this is one of theirs. This retails about $80, $80 dollars. So it's a really cheap phone. It's pretty, pretty lightweight. They make their own processing chips. Kind of like the Qualcomm of China, just to, to think of it. So um, what we've announced is uh, we partner with them to actually enable their camera app, so it's AR enabled. The thing about the AR Core, AR Kit, is that uh, it's, it only works on Samsung SAs, uh, Pixel 1 and Pixel 2. So uh, we've actually made our algorithm work for all of our So once we release the SDK, it's going to be about Q2. You can uh, just plug it in, plug it in Uni. Now every Android device is pretty much going to be AR ready, which means there's going to be 2 billion Android devices out there, which means it's going to be a lot more enticing for people to make AR content. So hope that killer app's coming soon. So here's this on a net, uh, HTC. So AR Core doesn't work on this. So we just quickly calibrate, find the surface. You'll see it's picking up all the objects here. And then, uh, yeah, we'll put, we'll put them in, in there. So what we're really good at is plane detection. So if you see here, it's like, oops, I'll just make it bigger. And he's actually right on there. So you'll see with some other uh, slam solutions that they'll be kind of floating, but our plane detection is actually, we think, among the best in the industry. It's pretty. So sometimes when you do this, this is really difficult to keep up with tracking. <laughs> so sometimes if he does go away, it has relocalization. So if he does go, he'll go back to really as well. And I'll show you if I turn around. That's kind of the difficult part. It's still there. Wow. So uh, yeah. And this usually never works on this phone. No, AR Core has never worked on this before. So let me show you the real. So this is an S H. You know, we can, that's compared. You know, that's what AR Core works up. But if you look at our partner Spreadroom, this is eighty dollars for it. What is this? 
This is Spectrum. So we actually have a, part, a nice partnership with this. So this is a SOC. So they uh, re might reference designs and, uh, for basically a smartphone platform, but for entry level, kind of cheaper, $100, $180 phones. So even on this, it, it works. So uh, it needs to localize. You see the frame rate's a bit slower, but that's just the phone. But in terms of uh, stability, it's the same as what you saw here before. So you can even get, I'll get something a bit more dynamic. Let's see. So this is an $80 phone. That's not for good, so. Um, we're actually integrated into the native app, so with Spectrum, uh, next year when you have your camera app, it's not going to be a separate app, it's just going to be integrated. Basically, this is pretty much the app we've developed for them. They have some other different models. So then they're going to hope they're going to try and make it more of a developer ecosystem, and then uh, yeah, people can just start creating our apps for even $80 phones. So now, once we release our SDK, later in the year, hoping about Q2, therefore all those phones are going to be enabled, and if you're an app developer and you want to think, how do I reach as many people as possible, you should use the as they are, because that's 2 billion customers you now have, as opposed to 80 million Android phones. Wow, so you guys are definitely spreading out and enabling yeah. uh, augmented reality and as well as gestures. What are, what are you doing for sort of the near, near time future besides all of this stuff? Yeah, uh, well, so our SDK is going to be coming out soon. That's a big thing. So we're going to start, we want this to be a platform. So down the road, you know, might integrate hand tracking, facial recognition. So basically just a one-stop shop for AR developers, great AR content. And uh, yeah, I mean, our hand tracking has always been a bread and butter. We're moving into other industries, which is really exciting as much as the car industry. So yeah, there's just a lot of things happening. Last six months, we've been really just in product development mode. Now we come out at CS, and now we're ready to start telling everyone about our technology. Uh, and you guys are based in America or in China? Yes, yeah, so uh, our founders are from China, but they went to college over here, went to grad school. They've been living here for about 15 years. They're US citizens. Our headquarters in Silicon Valley. It's about 30 people there. All our head people are there. And then a lot of R&D and a bit of business development over in China. We have three offices there, about 25 people there. Fantastic. So is there a website that our viewers can go to yeah. to find out more information? Yeah, so we just uh, relaunched our new website. So it's at uh, usens.com, U-S-E-N-S.com. Um, just get, you can get information there with some videos, but just uh, reach out to me or reach out just to go in the contact form, tell us what you're looking for, and we can come back to you. So we do, you know, when we get into sort of larger projects, we can customize our solution. As I mentioned with Biden, that was a completely new project. That was outside in tracking where bread and butter is inside out. Um, they use different sensors. So, you know, this is an opportunity if you're thinking you have the next cool smart device or IoT device and you want to use this as a, an interaction method, you know, talk to us. Fantastic. And head over to vrfocus.com if you want to find out more information about what they're doing and what is happening in the immersive tech space. And I will see you there. Great. Thank you.